Happy New Year. I'm in the park doing some laps on January 1st, 2023. Wow, this park is busy for January 1st. <laughs> I think everyone is doing their first day New Year's resolution exercises. Just wanted to do a short video about 2023 and what's upcoming. And also maybe just a little bit of a recap of 2022. Happy to say that I had a good year. Didn't start off great. I was on a 200K with freezing rain that killed one of my cameras and found me on the side of the road, fixing a flat, shivering. As you can see, I've got a flat, a mechanical issue. I've got to fix this. My next event was a 300K and I fared better on that one. It had its moments though. It seemed like a haunted 300K. There was heavy fog everywhere for most of the ride. Got beaten by a jogger up a hill, not my best moment. Then torrential rain, that came down and followed us for most of the rest of the ride, but made a new friend and I completed the 300K. Next I did the 400K and the 400 for me is uh, always a bit challenging. This was my third attempt. Yeah, my third attempt at the 400K. Happy to say I completed it. It also had its moments. One in which I thought I wasn't going to finish because I had some GI issues. I have really bad stomach ache, which just turned out to be constipation. It's not fun. But I powered through that. And I did the 600K, my first 600K. Met a lot of great people. I think I hit my stride during that 600K. It was very difficult, but I got through it. I called that 600K the deja vu 600K because the route crossed itself so many times that we saw the same sights two or three times. Now I didn't do a 1,000 or 1,200. My schedule did not allow it, but I did do a 200K Audax. And I mean a true Audax. And I'll talk about that in a different video. So where that leaves me is that I have 600K as my longest ride from 2022. And that means that I am in the second batch of people that are allowed to pre-register for PVP. In case you're wondering, if you're not sure, you haven't found out the information, if you've done a 1,000 or above, you can pre-register for PVP starting on January 14th. The second group, the group that I am in, our pre-registration starts on January 28th. Now I haven't memorized the dates for the other distances, so I'll throw them up on the screen so that you can see them. If you're in one of those, if you're in one of those categories, just take note. Um, often you will find that all of the spots will be taken up by the end of February. But do not despair because you can still get into the PVP. Do not give up. You can go on a waiting list. Many times people will get their pre-registration and then they will either fail to qualify or some circumstance will not allow them to participate in PVP. So if your heart is set on going to PVP and you haven't done the long rides that sets you up for early pre-registration and you can't get in for pre-registration, just continue to ride, continue to do the events towards getting your qualification of Super Randonneur for 2023 
and when the registration time comes around, you'll be able to see if uh, there's a spot available for you. Now, as far as spots go, the website for Paris Press Paris says that 8,000 riders will be allowed into PVP this year. 2,500 of those positions are reserved for French nationals. So they are guaranteed 2,500 positions. The remainder, well, that goes to the rest of the world. But again, don't despair. If you don't get into the pre-registration batch of people, it's still possible. It's still possible for you to do it. Just keep training, keep riding, make sure you do all of the series of qualification rides so that you'll be prepared when registration waiting lists open up. Well, that's about it. I hope everyone had a happy and healthy holiday, a wonderful new year. I will see you soon, or that is, you will see me soon. Really, you will see me soon. Take care.